Right. Anyway, let's see, see if you want to Let's see if we can hear you. Can, can you hand me up, Brad? Can you yes. Hear so, can. Okay, okay, so sorry. everybody can hear you. Why don't you do an introduction in terms of who you are? With your job, uh, what you're doing in your country. Okay. okay, my name is Ray Thompson, as you said, I'm from the UK. Uh, I run a, a UK website called MMAMental.com. I we interview uh, a lot of big names from the, from the world of MMA, and obviously we were, we were very pleased to get the opportunity to obviously speak with yourself. So I've, got a, I've been speaking to a few fans, and I've got a few questions for you, Andrew. Is that okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. fine. Fantastic. Well, I know you spoke about Evan Cole, so I'm, I'm going to move away from that a little bit and talk about a few other things with you. So I'd like to look a little bit back over your career. I've been, I've been, been a big fan of yours for a, for a very long time. Uh, what, what got you into mixed martial arts? Okay, just, 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 just one, 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 one for a second. second. We want to make sure that Andrew can hear you. Okay. as well. What do you think to the the rules 
that want to see use around kicking the ground of the pony. Right now, I guess I'm uh, trying to change some rules, but for some reason, I was sure that the benefit of the solution to kick him, uh, not just in the head, I mean, like, kick because uh, uh, he was on the ground, so that's it. Fair enough. But when the, when the referee and the judges were deciding what they were going to do, you and Tim were talking in the ring. What, what were you talking about? What, what, was you, what were you discussing? Well, about? Trust, we didn't talk about power points. So, maybe we talked about some how uh, bullshit was going to be between him and me. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's fair enough. Yeah. Well, do you think that you ever, we ever, have we ever liked to see an Olofsky versus Sylvia 5? Uh, that's what I'm saying. So, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Seven more years. 
I think so. Of course, don't understand me wrong. I don't want to be just uh, punching back for somebody. Until I'm gonna feel energy, I feel like I'm. I want to be excited about my fights. I'm about my fights. I'm gonna fight. I'm gonna train hard. Uh, first of course, for my, for myself, for my family, and for my fans. So my fans, uh, they the best in the world, and they motivate me, train hard, fight hard, and uh, this is my friends. and lost fans, the best friends in the world, and I really appreciate for guys for your help, for your support, and thank you very much. Well, we appreciate what you've done. I mean, you've been, uh, it's been excellent watching your fights. Nice. We look forward to seeing more of your fights. Have you thought about what you want to do after the fight? Have you got any goals after you finish fighting? Well, you know what? Uh, I didn't think what I'm going to do after the fight, but hopefully I'm going to be healthy. I'm going to be uh, successful. And I'm going to just spend uh, my time with my family and all because uh, last two, three years pretty much I'm gone, I'm, I'm going to train either or Dagestan or Albuquerque or somewhere like Russia and Belarus and my my wife, she's like, she's understand everything, she's like, let me go and she never complain about um, that I'm gone for so long and I really appreciate it, this means a lot to me. Okay, just a few, a few food questions to wrap things up. What's your guilty pleasure? Chocolate video games, anything like that? Uh, Slava, guilt, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I like to eat and uh, sometimes I like to drink, you know. <laughs> and not everybody happy about that, but uh, like a normal, like, you know, like a normal guy, like uh, uh, have a good dinner with uh, some tasty bottle of wine, good wine, and uh, ex- sometimes expensive wine. and. Uh, all my friends, uh, they like to drink, I mean, like, drink casual, don't understand me wrong, if you don't like to drink, like, a lot of like, and, uh, and, uh, be, be, uh, like, new problem, new problem, to be like, like, uh, you can, yeah, without control, but, uh, yeah, one, at least two, three times a year, it's happened, you know, I can be drunk and, uh, disgusting. Exciting. Have you got? Have you got? Have you got a, a favorite alcoholic drink? Like I, I, I would say, sometimes I'm, uh, I, I like to be like a real English man from England, you know, go to some pub, drink good beer, you know, and uh, go to watch some soccer match, you know. <laughs> uh, and obviously, you, you, you know, as the pit bull. Do you own pit bulls as well? Obviously, you're known as on, on the, the pit bull Arlovsky. Do you own the, do you own pit bulls yourself? Yeah, of course. Um, yes, of course. 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 Yes, of a bit, of, a bit of a fun question. If you could fight any fighter from any era or any sport, who would it be? Um, since I was a kid, I really like from I mean MMA and boxing. I really like uh, Mike Tyson. I, I think he was, uh, in my opinion, he's the best uh, heavyweight. Uh, he's he's the best boxer in the heavyweight division. Also, like. Uh, Johnny Tapia, lightweight, um, that's probably it, you know. And of course, one of my goals to finally, sooner or later, have a uh, boxing match. And if it's possible, of course, I want to have a boxing match against uh, Klitschko. Okay. Well, thank you very much for having me on. I really appreciate giving me some shit to talk to you. Thank you very much. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your questions, sir. Wait, right, maybe in closing, you could tell about a little bit about yourself. Just take a few yeah. minutes to really quickly wrap up. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, so when I, my name is Ray, uh, Ray Thompson. I've followed the sport for probably about 10 years. I've watched every single UFC and every single Pride FC event. Uh, I've seen Olofsky fight live. I've seen, I've seen him fight in Manchester when he beat for Big Show, for Big Show for Doom at UFC 17. So I saw him fight live. Uh, we run a web, web, website called www.mmmental.com. And we do a weekly podcast. We've had some fantastic guests. I've always spoke to Enzo Gracie. 
Stephen Quadros, Tyra. We have had some brilliant names on. Uh, but yeah, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just a huge fan. I just love the sport and loads of people that you know take part in the sport. So we appreciate you, you being here, and we also appreciate the fact that uh, this is middle of the night for you right now. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's, 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 it's my pleasure. Twenty to one, but it's worth it. Excellent, excellent. Thank so, you very much for your time.